you've turned on to rock and roll. So guys, here's the thing is that I already listened to this because I was super selfish and didn't know if we were going to be doing any more Joiner Lucas. I have heard this quite a few times. I am still catching stuff, though. Mm -hmm. So this will be Kyle's first time. Yes, that, um, yeah, that's why it says Metalhead yes. Reaction. But yeah, this is so. this is a really good one. Um, lyrically, it's great. I I really think you're going to enjoy this one, but I don't know. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what he's going to say, guys. I really enjoyed the last Jordan Lucas song that we did. Yeah. Um, dude, this is just, man, I enjoy his voice. I like the way that that song sounded and the message behind it, too. Yeah. So, I'm curious about this with 24 hours to live. I'm wondering if this is going to get emotional or if this is going to, you know, maybe just like, I don't know, maybe just focus on the good stuff that you're going to do, you know, without really diving into that, you know, part of, you know, maybe the somber part, but I don't know. But all I can see is that the dudes are outside, they're hanging out, they're doing their thing. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. So I think uh, I would like to just dive in, man. All right, man. So, yeah. Let's go. Welcome back, you music junkies. I'm Eric. I'm the hip-hop head. I'm Kyle. I'm the metal head. And we're brothers that react to shit, so let's do that. Tonight we have Joiner Lucas, 24 Hours to Live. Let's get into this. Yes. Now it's his first time. Yes. Oh. I am loving the low piano. Me and my niggas outside of the crib, blowing the smoke and rolling a few, shooting some dice and making a flip. We getting a lit, you know what it do. Mm. One of my homies said, I got a question I want to know. Like, what will you choose? If you had 24 hours to live, then where will you go? And what would you do? I'm about to catch a few felonies, load up the trunk and then head to the Beverly's. I'm about to whip and then rob a celebrity. Mm. Take all this shit and then steal his identity. Strap on a vest and go kill all my enemies. Slap any hater that showed any jealousy. Shoot every broski that tried to get next to me. After the shit, they all gonna remember me. Stick at the bank at the end of the draw. Floor, uh, uh, bro. Get, up the, okay. get on the floor. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh. this is um I like that because usually like you know, like cause what comes to mind is like I mean like, say what you want, but like the whole nickelback, like you know, if today was your last day, like hug your loved ones and like yeah. do these things. This is going the complete the opposite. opposite. <laughs> when you're like, like no. Oh, is it gonna be sentimental? And I'm <laughs> I looked at the camera, I'm like, No. <laughs> Just I don't know, man. Like I, I love it when my expectations are are subverted in the right way. So and uh you kind of mentioned something before when it was like, you know, the way that lyrics are used and like how it's yes. applied into the video and now i'm getting it where all of his friends are talking to him and they're right. doing that this is man this is good like I'm, I'm even getting like the bella chow kind of vibe here and stuff. a little well, bit yeah from the music video just from like you know the bank robbery looks, and yeah different things like that dude this is really good i i like jordan lucas dude this me too cool. man this is solid so yeah. all right i'm gonna back it up one more and then let's get back into yeah, this let's do it. kill all my enemies slap any hater that showed any jealousy shoot every broski that tried to get next to me after the shit they all gonna remember me stick at the bank and the end of the draw <clears throat> Get in the floor, take from the rich and then give to the poor. Give them the shit that they couldn't afford. Buy them oh. cribs and then give them a tour. Whipping the part, skirt on the cops and I'm flipping the law. Bury the ops and then dig up the car. Throw me a party with all of the bros and then turn every day to a holiday. I have an orgy with all of the hoes who ain't never want to give me the time of day. Catch them all lacking and kidnap you rappers who talk to police and cooperate. Breaking the prison and free all the hitters and give all them niggas a lobster play. Pull up to the give them all a lobster play. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, that, that was cool. All right, all right, we'll back that up. The hoes who ain't never want to give me the time of day. Catch them all lacking and kidnap you rappers who talk to police and cooperate. Tell the government to pipe down. down. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Woo. Shit! All right, let's get back into it. Gun down oh, every okay, I, yeah. I wonder if I get to heaven, I'm a criminal. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this this is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, I'm backing yeah. that up. Niggas doing no good, but they maintain I'm a gun down every pedophile. Wonder if I get to heaven now, I'm a criminal. I take every dead beat, daddy put him in the ground. Niggas had to let them in around, but they're in and out. I'ma run a couple hundred miles and I'm giving out hope to the people at the bottom that can never smile. Like I feel the cut when they're low any minute now. Everything I ever wanted, I'ma go and get it now. Nigga now, uh. and I'm about to catch a few felonies. Load up a trunk and head to the Beverly. How about the whip and then rob a celebrity? Take all the shit and instill his identity. Shoot on a vest and go kill all my enemies. Oh, so this is the, okay. Yeah, this is the. If you oh. had 24 hours to live, then what would you do if it was you instead what of you? What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? I like the hook. I want to know, like, what would you do? It's got that. Where would you go? Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a question I want to know like what will you do would you go crazy because of it kill every nigga you hold the grudge against slide up the plug and stay you a hundred brick slap any nigga that did any sucker shit but I'm craving and take what you want to get load up the choppers and scheme on the government 24 mm. hours is all that you gonna get would you go stupid or would you do none of it and I'm coming for every nigga that owe me cake better have every single penny and don't be late auto running a 
how to get doing won't be safe. We ain't talking and I don't want to negotiate. I'ma fuck your baby mama's a procreate. Give your son a new little brother, I hope he hate. Got a bullet for every nigga that told me wait. No more rhyming at OJ, I need a Kobe steak. Sick and tired of niggas bragging me to give me your jewelry. Huh. If I don't take it off, then you'll be giving it to me. Ooh. Every bullet that be getting a ruler. This for every nigga that thought it was living a movie. Way too many on my list that was daring to move me. This for anybody that was swearing they knew me. I take every motherfucker who the animal cruelty. Line up all up in a row, so I hand me the Uzi. Mm. see what happens next, cause when the clock can't stop, I can laugh at death. I got a bulletproof heart, I don't have a vest. Before I die, ask God if I pass the test. Take all my money got a crib and I cash a check. They give all of it to my kids, that's my last request. If you had 24 hours to action level, tell me what you gonna do if your ass was next. What would you do? What would you do if your what ass you was do? next? What would you do? I love I just the perspective on this. This is so good. Where would you go? Dude, all, all I do is bob my head when I listen to this. I want to know, like, what will you do? Would you go crazy because of it? Kill every nigga you hold in the grudge against. Line up the plug and the scale. You 100 bricks slap any nigga that did any sucking shit. Run in the crib and take what you want to get. Load up the choppers and scheme on the government. 24 hours is all that you're going to get. Would you go stupid or would you do none of it? Mm. Hey, Doc. Would what's you go stupid or would you do Doc none says, of it? I have some bad news and some really bad news. The bad news is that you only have 24 hours to live. Fred can't believe it. Oh my God! What could be worse news than that? Doctor I says forgot. I couldn't get hold of you yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number one, I love whenever a beat is hard and the rapper's actually doing justice to the beat because because right. I think that there's sometimes where it's like you know you can kind of have like that chill mentality with a beat that's going nuts. So yeah. I'm like, yes, yeah, I, I really do enjoy that a lot. So, um, in in my opinion, I think that this one is better than the last one that we listened to. But it's a different um, it's a different concept of style and sound as correct, well. Correct, yeah. correct. And it's and just again like being able to look at it in a way where he's just like, look, this is just what I would do. But it also like I love that open ended question at the end where it's like, no, like you know, would you be stupid or would you you know? It's, it's right, just, right. That is it's so wild. And we mm -hmm. were talking about this before. Is that rap videos really are like, I mean, they're just like the pinnacle of, of production. I mean, whether it is Joyner Lucas or if it's Lil Dicky or if it's NF right. or if it's Eminem or like, it's just, there's just such a level of excellence that comes into just making their yeah. videos and, and or just goes into it. Like, it's just, it's so amazing. And honestly, I do hope that this, that this video does do well because Same. I want to be able to go through more. And I hope that, you know, as more releases come, you know, come down the line and then we also have his old stuff too. Like I want to yeah. know more about this guy. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he is definitely somebody that you would definitely get into as far as his catalog. Mm -hmm. Guys, I only know about I'd say about 50%. Okay. About. Um, but again, he's just so lyrical. He's got so many things. He's got so many remixes that he did. That's I think kind of how he got his start to like be big. Okay. He was remixing people's songs and just murdering the fuck out of them. <laughs> so yeah, he's just somebody that I always pay attention to myself, man, because yeah. he's awesome. Yeah, I actually have even with his uh rhymes and everything too, like I I kind of see a lot of Dax in him, which I really like. He, yeah, so, yeah, he's not filler, he's definitely no. very lyrical all the time. Yeah. So, so, guys, this was incredible. I'm so glad that he liked it, and I hope we get to go through more. And to quote Gandhi, live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever. And if you liked what you saw, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe. That way you never miss an upload. And watch us two idiots react to stuff. Comment Stop down it. below if you want to see anything else. We'll get to it as soon as we can. <sighs> and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> Adios. My brain went, did I say that right? Mm -hmm.